I felt it was a really important uh, program for young women. Um, as you know, I used to be a young woman. We were all in middle school and remember how difficult it was um, to try and fit in. And I think it was really important for these young women to have a support system and also to have that knowledge of their culture. I think one of the reasons why this program was so valuable to the youth was because a lot of these girls come from large families or some of them did not have parents in the home. They were being raised by their grandmothers or great-grandmothers. Like my daughter, we just have a lot of kids and because she's the oldest, she doesn't get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. And this was a place where all attention was focused on them. They were taught how to care for themselves, how to treat their bodies right, how to um, use medicines, um, food preservation, the ceremonies throughout the year. They were just given a lot of attention that filled them up. And so it made them stronger when they went back to their families, when they went back out in the community, they were, they were full of that good energy and, and good words and, and they were able to take that out into the community. I'm Ayashi Barton and I'm going to be 13 next month. I learned about becoming a woman like you have a lot of responsibilities and like you gotta be like strong even when stuff is hard and everything. I think the program is really great, like you got to learn a whole bunch of stuff about Kona. What I learned about becoming a woman is uh, responsibilities and what I have to do when I'm on my own, what I can touch and cannot touch. We had someone come in and talk about healthy relationships too. There was just so many topics that we wanted to touch on and people would come to us and say, oh, you should you know, talk to them about education, you know, have someone come in and talk about education. Or even one year didn't seem, seem long adequate you know, to get all of the things in that uh, we thought they needed to be exposed to or to get into the depth you know, with uh, each, each thing. Um, I also wanted to say that Getting to know these girls, and, and one of the reasons why this program should continue is because when we were on that trip to Tanawanda, I was able to spend a lot of time with them. And there was an evening where I was with all the girls and they were talking about, um, they were calling a girl in one of the school system's names and we started talking about that and why do they talk about each other that way. And, and I was able, to show them that this is not the way that we culturally were. We were a people that were very kind and supportive to each other. And to show them that this is, this is what we've become through this process of colonization. And, and these girls opened up and they started talking about, you know, things going on with their families or social issues like alcoholism or having a parent um, incarcerated. And I don't think that those girls can get to that level until you spend a lot of time with them. And, and that's part of the, the deep healing, the underlying problems that really need to get taken care of in our community. It's an investment in our community. It's an investment in the future and future leaders in this community. And I think it's really important for, um, it is unfortunate that it wasn't funded again, but it's a good program. I think we made a big difference in the lives of the youth that participated. And I know the parents were they were disappointed. They wanted their, their young women to participate again. Um, I think it's important for the tribe to do this, um, to spend the money. You know, what's 20000 you know, in our budget um, to, to um, invest in our youth and make sure they have that foundation.